So let's talk about the pyroelectric effect. So tourmaline, mineral tourmaline has this structure where it has um, silica tetrahedra, mm -hmm. which are pointing upwards in layers. And so those have positive silicon oh. atoms in the middle, and then oxygen atoms at the corners. And there are more oxygens along the bottom of each layer. So there's a negative charge along the bottom of each layer. Um, and then there's positive charges in between the layers of the silica uh, tetrahedra. Um, so there's basically these, these layers with more negative at the bottom of each uh, tetrahedral layer and then more positive in between. And so when you squeeze on the tourmaline crystal, um, it's going to push the positive and negative closer together, uh, which then ends up giving a net uh, positive and negative charge at the ends of the crystals. Um, now, one way to, to get that is to literally squeeze the crystal. Uh, we can also, for tourmaline at least, we can, uh, so we, we're getting electricity by squeezing, that's called piezoelectricity. Um, in tourmaline, we can also get this effect by heating or cooling it because there's thermal contraction and, and tourmaline is slightly asymmetric and it uh, contracts more uh, lengthwise versus, versus crosswise. Um, and so that, that squeezing from the cooling will give it the same effect. So to demonstrate this, uh, I have here a uh, thing of liquid nitrogen and a uh, piece of tourmaline on a string. Um, we put it in, uh, the tourmaline is going to get electric charge on the end. Now, you can't really see electric charge, um, but the uh, electrons at the end of the tourmaline uh, will interact with the, with the metal sides of this, of this jar. So this jar has, is, is, has a thin layer of aluminum on the outside, which is a conductive metal. And so um, on the positive end of the crystal will attract electrons in the metal and therefore make it stick. And then and the a negative end of the tourmaline will push away the electrons uh, in the metal. And then that will also attract it and it will stick. First it boils, it chills, and now it's sticking to the side. You see now it's stuck to the side. I can pull on it, but it yanks back over the other side. Uh, maybe, so you can see now it's, it'll stick. Uh, I pull on it, it sticks, takes some effort to pull it off. So there we go. So that's the, just a review here as for the reason of why it's sticking. Basically we have a, a piece of metal here and the tourmaline crystal. The tourmaline crystal is going to get positive and negative charge at the ends. So the positive side of the crystal is going to pull electrons in the metal towards it, which is then going to be attracted to those electrons. And then the negative side of the tourmaline crystal is going to push away electrons and it'll still be attracted to it because it'll make a, a relative positive spot there.